Good morning, guys. Good morning. What is going on? What's cracking? Today, we're going to be going over the Supra. Uh, my Odyssey batteries, thank you again, big shout out to Odyssey Battery for sending me some free batteries, uh, are coming for the Super and MR2. And you guys always know, and I've always said, I'm keeping the battery up front. But after watching a little Motion Auto TV that I'm out here in the garage doing right now, he's given me the idea that maybe I should put the battery in the back. The way he's mounting it might work out perfect. So I'm going to go over and show you how I'm thinking about doing it. I might get rid of the custom panel I have there now. There's a couple of things I'd like to change. Um, I'm being told too to try and remount my fuse box. So some people are saying that I should try and remount this somewhere. I'm not sure, you know, the extending the wires and stuff, do I really want to go through that headache? It is right here in the engine bay, but it seems like to be the new thing. People are extending this and putting it back in the trunk. There is an area back there where the stock, um, all subwoofer is you can do it which i'll show you here shortly so i'm going to go over today guys go over routing and stuff uh go over the proper gauge wiring that you need to do it the battery will be getting will be the same size as this i'm going to be doing a full size battery as i don't want to be doing a small battery uh so hopefully it fits if not then we're gonna have some other issues now one thing i do realize is uh the owner of motion all tv is using a smaller excess power battery i'm using full size batteries at this time from odyssey uh luckily for me actually the mr2 and the super use the exact same battery kind of ironic so he sent me two of the same batteries he gave me some riser plates because he did say that the odyssey batteries do run smaller which is a good thing i'm kind of happy about that uh, obviously the smaller the battery but the cold cranking amps and everything else about them is way higher I, and I'm hoping it fixes issues because again, running a battery to the back, you need more cold crank amps. You have, you have to trying to force more power to the front of the car. Same thing with the MR2. That's why it uses such a large battery on a small motor uh, because you're running, you know, you have to run larger gauge wiring to get it back so you have enough amperage, all that other BS or whatever, which I can show you. But I'm gonna reach down under this, click that. And some of you, cause you're probably new, have, since I did my build videos, didn't realize I have this custom mat. So if you're a super owner, I have this custom like leather-esque mat made, but it's a one piece mat. So you can see it fits the whole way in here because the carpeted one was pretty much junk. And I wanted something that was sturdy. So I went to a local sound shop and said, I want something that'll fit in here and look factory-ish, but I want no carpet. I want something smooth I can just wipe off instead of having carpet and vacuum and when I throw shit back here and don't care. Um, so they made me this is one piece. I purposely did not want these covers They were gonna recover these in leather, but I said just leave them plastic. I think it looks OEM fresh I slipped some holes in it there like so and uh, I used that for my strut bar Which I don't have on because of the fact that I was always taking this off for the fuel pump So right now I'm just leaving it as is but I'll take this cover off for you also, I need more lighting in here for this winter. Uh, my buddy Stan Stagger Media said he's gonna help me put some lights up. I just literally wanna put another row. These same lights, just another row right here in between. As you can see, it's kind of like a dead spot above the car. Like, that's why it's dark right there. Maybe, I guess they could be nice to have them here, but another row above the garage doors there too, like in between there, um, would be kind of nice also, just for the fact that when I do have the cars up that far, like the MR2 there in the back of it right now is a dead area. Uh, so if you're working at night, you can't really see anything in the back, which does get kind of annoying. So I would like maybe run another set of six lights. I'm not sure who could do that for me. Um, yeah, and, well, he said he could, but problem is he's two and a half hours away. I'm not sure how long it would take. I don't want him driving the way up here to do that and then waste all of his time. But to get this mat out, this is how well it fits. You actually have to put this down. So fold that down. Usually with the old carpet, when the carpet would go the whole way across this, so when you laid this down, you wouldn't see this. But realistically, when it's folded up, you don't see it anyways, and I never really fold the seats down. But to get this out, you pull up like so, pull it forward, and just sits like that, and it is flexible. So you can do it with one hand. Uh, so it flexes like that, and it pops out. It is one giant piece. Now on the back of it, I did have them add carpet uh, to help with dampening. This helps keep the noise down as much as possible. But you guys can see here, the top is like a leather-esque style. Uh, yeah, I forget what I paid for this. It wasn't cheap, but it was definitely worth it to get a custom piece. And it, it is flexible, but at the same time, it's quite sturdy. I mean, I don't have a spare tire. Um, there's no spare tire in this. I'm able to fit all that, so it makes me kind of happy. God, I'm so glad to have this camera now, by the way. Um, when I had the GoPro before, you guys couldn't see shit back here. But you guys can see my uh, wiring setup for my dual pumps, which I broke the top part of it, so I had to zip tie it down so it doesn't pop off anymore. Um, now with this, here's where I'm gonna run issues. So I wanna keep that stock cover, so it needs to stay below this lip here. So I've got about six inches of room. Let's get a tape measure out here and measure this real quick. Get in here, grab this. See what this actually is depth-wise. From there to there, 
about seven inches. So I got about seven inches that I can put in there and I should be okay. And I've got, it looks like, I mean, realistically, across from here to here. Yeah, I've got more than enough room. I can shove it back here in this area here. So I've got all this room here, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, I could take the battery out front, but I don't feel like disconnecting all of it. Uh, once a new one gets in here, I'll test fit it in, but I might have to lay it down on its side. This one, like again, is supposed to be a little bit smaller. Um, if you guys are noticing, I do have an aftermarket fuel riser. Now, I probably won't need it, but Wade Fab did make this for me. Uh, if you guys want to check him out too, I've had this in the car for... I don't know, four or five months now? Um, and there's no fuel smell, nothing. It comes with a little gasket set he gives you, so it does rot and give you a little bit more room so when you're putting fuel lines and everything else in, you don't have to worry about stuff. Like I said there, guys, uh, you don't really have to worry about anything then. So that's that. Uh, also, I wanna tuck this wiring stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna do this winter with this car uh, along with the MR2 once it gets really cold out. Uh, but I do have to keep this together until World Cup Finals. If you guys have never heard of it, it's called Imports versus Domestics. I will be there. I should probably start putting that at the beginning of this video. Uh, I will be there along, along with Stance Stagger Media. We'll both be showing our cars. We'll just be in the car show because we go to hang out, get video, just to see everybody. Uh, I'm hoping to get a media pass for this year just so we can get behind the scenes, get more video with people. Those guys, well, I should say, um, Tony will have a professional camera set up. Me and Mike, uh, who also will be there too. We, he uses a GoPro and I have this little Canon. It's not very professional. I'm um, like 1320, Tony, TRC, and those guys who have like these big camera rigs and all this fancy equipment. But we'll still be there. And uh, if you guys want to, let me know. I'm gonna bring some shirts and hats, have them in the back of the car. So if you wanna swing by, say hi, talk for a little bit, and get a hat or shirt or a keychain, let me know. Also guys, that is November 6th. I believe it's a Sunday that I'll be there. Uh, so please hit me up and let me know. One thing else I wanted to do guys why I've got this back cover off is take this cover off for the fuel tank. So I had an issue with my fuel gauge not working or it only go up to like three quarter of a tank and now it's working again. I think the O-ring around it isn't tightened enough and it's causing it to move. Uh, so I'll show, let me just show you guys, it's way easier. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left all right, so I got the cover off here. Let's see if this will show up on camera. Ugh, it's probably need two hands to do it, but it's, yeah, it moves. I mean, I can fully, I can't move it up and down, but it, this, this piece here just isn't tight enough. And it's hard because I don't have a proper tool to do it. The only way to like spin this thing on or off is to take a hammer to it. And that's how you start breaking these tabs off, which I've broken a couple. So I might have to buy a new ring for this and replace it undo all the fuel lines and hope hope that fixes it. If not, I don't know, but it reeks like fuel now, but I'm gonna try getting this real quick by taking a hammer to it. Spin it the wrong way. Well, that helped if I wasn't spinning it the wrong way. So we'll go ahead and put this back on again. If you guys want one of these, go ahead with Wade Fab. Um, he makes these custom for this reason. I guess you can see here, like mine's using the stock, but when you put big AN lines coming off the top of there and they start swishing and make, swishing, they have a big loop in them, uh, they hit the stock cover because the stock cover just barely goes over. To give you an aspect here, those little um, worm clamps there, the top parts, because they're sticking up a little high on the factory one after I just removed it there a couple months ago, it was actually starting to rub it raw, rubbed all the paint off. That's how close and low it is. So this kind of comes in, not just comes in handy, it's kind of necessary to be honest. So I walked outside here when I pulled up here, uh, there was literally a crate worth of them. I didn't think they were gonna send this much. It looks like there's a couple of extra things on here too. So thank you again to Alan over at Odyssey Battery. Guys, go down below, check the link. I'll have everything there for you. I really do appreciate it. Alan. He's the marketing manager over there. I'm hoping to go up to Reading, Pennsylvania, where they actually make all the batteries and have their main facility. It just happens to be they're really close to me. So thank you again, Alan. Let's go ahead and drag these inside the garage though so I can rip it up. Now, let's get a knife out so we actually get this damn thing open. Uh, it'll be nice to get batteries in both of these cars now. Only thing is, like I said, that's black, but we'll get this figured out here We're about moving it to the back and how we have to do it.
Now that I got all the batteries up here in the charger packs, I'll kind of go over everything. Um, these are both the same battery. Uh, so the MR2 and the Super use the same size battery, which actually comes in handy. Uh, Odyssey does have the smaller batteries, which you can use. I decided to go with a full size battery for cold cranking reasons. You know, I drive my car a lot. Uh, I go to shows and I go places where the car sits overnight. I can't really take the chance of the battery not starting, especially when it's cold here in the winter. You need some serious cold cranking amps. Um, and I don't want to take the chances, take any of those chances. Uh, if I was in Florida, I probably wouldn't care. Um, they were also kind enough to send me this charge pack. So this is a jumper pack in case I'm broken down somewhere or the battery's not working or I let it drain out, left the light on whatever. This will jump it without needing another vehicle. And they also sent me their custom bracket, which is very nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for the trunk mount or how I'm gonna do it, but it will come in handy for something like that. So I'm pretty stoked. I uh, hope to get this in here shortly. I actually gotta measure it here real quick and see how tall this is. Let's actually break out that. How tall is it? All right, it's seven and a quarter, and I think that's exactly what I need. This will fit just barely under uh, the stock trunk mat, which is actually pretty awesome. So I'll be able to use this under the stock trunk mat. Um, yeah, that's, that's sweet. So I can mount this in the trunk. I can use a full-size battery. Uh, I might have to take everything back out here again, but it's pretty awesome to know that I can use that for the trunk and uh, I won't have to worry about it. MR2, let's go ahead and throw it in that though here first. It's weird, let me pop the hood so I can get to the battery. This will never, I'll never get used to this. As you guys can see, I already have an interstate battery in here, so I'm just gonna loosen this up and then drop in the new one. All right, so I went ahead and got the old interstate battery out and put in the new Odyssey battery. First off, well, I'll just show you guys. I went to turn the car on and like literally night and day difference. So the car had, a, I wanna call it a delayed start and uh, now it doesn't. So key in, clicks over and like there's no cranking time, it's instantaneous. It's crazy. It's amazing what a battery, a good battery can do. Um, same size battery and I gained 250 cold cranking amps just by switching out the battery. Thank you again, Odyssey, this is awesome. I might have to make another video for this, guys, um, because we talked about this already. This battery needs to go in the trunk, not this one specifically, but the other Odyssey battery. I need to measure it and check everything and see if that's going to fit back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk here quick and see if this is even going to work for me. So I've got the trunk mat out here again and I'm trying to get this battery to fit. Now, if I lay it on the side, it is an AGM battery, so I can lay it on the side or upside down if I want to, uh, but I need to lay it on its side here, and it will fit. Um, it actually has a little bit of room yet, so I mean, it just fits under this, plus a few, so I can put this clamping bracket on it, uh, and I'm good to go, and I'd have to run the wires. But the problem I'm running into is two things. These brackets here that come with the kit are designed for the battery to sit up straight. When the battery is sitting up straight, it's a little bit taller. So these are sitting too high and I can't cut off the bottom and I can't cut off the top because that's how they mount. So I'm gonna have to um, kind of revisit this and rethink this. The other issue is going to be, the other issue is going to be this custom bottom plate. Now, the thing is with this custom block, bleh, bottom plate, is the fact that it fits fine, that's not a problem. Um, but to bolt it down, you have to go underneath and use these, which is nice to include these. They're not just bolts, it comes like a little bracket. So you put these underneath and then you would bolt down from the top. Simple enough, right? Of course. Well, the problem with that is, is this. Here on my back now, we're right underneath the car. We got the little light here, see if I can scoot this over some. There's the underneath the car and this here is the gas tank cover and then above there is where I need to bolt down. The problem is where I need to bolt down the first one's like right here. Let's see if I can get under here. Ugh. It's like right there, which is no problem. The rest of it, which is the whole way over, means I have to drop the entire gas tank, which I've never done before, so that will be a new one for me. Uh, but I'm always up for new ideas. Now I'm not gonna be doing this anytime soon. Uh, right now the battery is fine being up front, it's not hurting anything, but I do want to relocate it to the back for cleanliness, make this a little bit easier on myself uh, to clean up the engine bay. But you know how that goes, I'm always you know, trying to make things better and I'm always adding 10 times more headache. But it makes more sense for working on the car up front. Um, one thing I always noticed, and there's things I didn't like to do nine times out of 10 because the battery was in the way and I had to always take it out. 
Um, so I'm always trying to simplify and make things quick change as I call it. Like, all right, I can get to this right, boom, done, boom, done. And by taking the battery out, I'm able to get to a lot of the stuff that's in the front here of the motor on this side. I can just literally reach my arm down and get to it. It's part of the reason why I don't want to go to an aftermarket intake manifold, which makes it even harder to change oil and reach things down there. Um, the stock intake manifold allows me a lot more room. So that's part of the reason. So I think that's gonna be it for this one, guys. That's my plan for right now. If you guys have any ideas or any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm looking for suggestions or ideas on this. I wanna do it a clean install. Uh, I don't wanna do, it has to fit under that factory mat. It will fit under there. I've already put the mat in. It will fit the way it sits right now. Uh, but I gotta figure out those brackets, how I'm gonna get those bolts up underneath because of the gas tank. Or if you guys have any like quick ingenuity, ingenuity or cool ideas, I guess I'll say, uh, to get that to fit and work, uh, please let me know. All right, guys, do me a big favor. Always posting new stuff on my Facebook and Instagram. Also, go check out the Pure Function website. Got new hats, shirts, keychains, all that good stuff. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys for the 10,000 followers on Instagram. Thank you for getting me to that point. Uh, if there's anything you guys need, you know you can hit me up. Thank you all very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!